stick in the dick. And three years ago, he had a hand in the ass. Ooh. Yeah. Um, our favorite rider decided to give him all a little grain, and he left the grain bag out. And you hate me, you little sore. fucking fires. Taking a day off. My foot is killing me. Got a big blister. But, uh, I'm gonna fill the fill the buckets, do some dishes for the camp. Shoot grouse. Hopefully a bear rolls in so I can shoot that. Captain's Log, Day 4. Frank Church, River of No Return Wilderness. I decided to sit today out on the hunt. I have a blister the size of a quarter on my left heel, and I need a day of rest. <laughs> Got CZ-22 next to me, suppressed. Sitting here in camp, waiting for grouse. Snow hare to come through. Shoot those, eat those, have it for lunch. <laughs> um, and I got my CZ 557 Eclipse, the Night Force, sitting next to me. Because according to Conrad, probably the most experienced guide here, um, there's a 50% chance that a bear will come into camp today. And I got bear tags. Got wolf tags, got elk tags, got cat tags. Um, so, bear comes in, shoot the bear. Got to protect the food. In front of the mess tent, going to do dishes today. I draw water from the well, well, spring. And uh, going crazy out here. And this is the view from the mess tent. That right there is the horse trail back down. There's a creek down there. Might take a walk later. Um, a lot of bear remnants down there. Uh, just take a rifle with you wherever you go. Heard some brush breaking over there and some predator calls from squirrels. But the wind is going this way, so if anything's upwind from me, it's not going to come down. Higher likelihood of something coming from this direction. It's lunchtime. I didn't feel like making PB and J. Shot a spruce grouse, so making grouse sandwiches. And um, breakfast was like three hours ago. This was a leftover sausage grease. And since it's not very fatty bird, cooking it in the leftover sausage grease is pretty ideal. Grouse Colby Jack sandwich. Got the team watershed bags. Watershed makes the best dry bags in the world. Keeping myself 
and stuff. Super dry. Easy to reseal. Uh, they packed real tight. And uh, really happy with them. Eating breakfast. Somebody's got a hot tortilla over here. <laughs> Mad eye. She's like, you're not here for me. You're for your elk. Watch your eyes, you idiot. He's always hungry. You guys just laid back. My boy Thunder with the big hooves. We're gonna be going up there today. Eric with Annie. Shitter's full, Clark. Did you have a good tip, trip, Tim? Pretty good. Pretty tired. Long trip. Even though I did not shoot an elk, or a bear, or a wolf, this is an amazing place and an absolute experience that is rivaled by nothing else I've experienced. 
Just look. Breakfast is getting made. It's six o'clock in the morning in the river bottom. Stars are still out in full force. Can't really see it much, but see you later soon.
don't know what they are. A mature breeding age male is really easy because they're way bigger than their bodies. Yeah. But when they're young like those were, the male's horns grow really wide versus the female's horns are narrow and skinnier. Do the females go more upright as well? Yeah, more up and back where our males will go kind of, they'll curve out and back. Okay. They're heavier. I could float a carcass across. I would think there's a bull over there. Especially if it's clean and shiny and they can see their own reflection. Jeez, look at the nuts on them. I wonder how long it would take you to address his nuts. <laughs> took about 30 seconds longer than I thought it would. Wow. Impressive. You would just do on adrenaline without second guessing. He did the right thing, he pulled the plug on that uh Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, leave us some feedback in the comments below.